hi everyone welcome to another quick video where i will show you what i'm gonna do with this image so first things first and as usual let's start by dragging our channels into our photoshop file so in this case we have the normal one we have the material id one and we also have this second option the more sketchy effect so let's uh, convert this layer into a, an actual, actual rasterized layer next as usual let's set our canvas so we'll first do our square same old same old so it's 3840 as we usually do this is something that is almost done every single time we'll link our layers the right link layers okay now let's go to resize canvas let's adjust it and let's now just um, adjust our our images okay so now we'll start by and again as usual first we unlink our layers then we select our normal channel select color range click on the black uh, okay okay and now we want to rasterize this layer right here so click right rasterize layer erase and now we go again to our second layer and we erase so as you can see we have our base images here it is um, without the sky so next thing that we're gonna do is sorry we'll duplicate this base layer again we'll set it in in dust mode now we'll go to layer new layer new fill layer sorry color fill one and we'll set it in white so here we have our, our image as usual this is not a big change from our usual images or at least our usual workflow right so now we have to decide what to do because i like this one this is actually more um, graphic for me um so i have to decide i also like this sketch effect but i think that we see less of the image so what i would like to do is to see here with our material id what we can actually select and what we cannot so first things first for me would be to select the girl and the dog and maybe just maybe i'm not sure we'll maybe keep them in this sketch effect in our uh, base image so layer via copy you know you click right here in the selected area layer via copy so now here we have the copy so if we could take everything out we'll still see the girl and the dog with this sketch effect so again if we go back you can see how it works right so here we can choose what to do so we can do some kind of you know lower the opacity so that everything's more or less uh, as as the rest of the image or we can for example leave it at 100 and then here choose something different um, something like this or something like this where we have more contrast i also like this one so maybe this one with a little bit of you know yeah, I don't know. I'm not sure though. Let's see. Can we keep it in normal? Uh, I would like to see the logo, but um, I'm not getting there. So, but I think we don't see it anyway. So, I think it was a good idea. We'll just leave it here at 70. 70%. 70 and what I would like to do actually is make kind of white uh, line around the dog and the girl. Okay, so again, this is, uh, we're gonna try. If it doesn't work, then we'll do uh, something else, okay? So for now, it would be something like this. What I do is I click once, and I see if the thickness of the line is good for me. And if it is, I just continue. And here, I just leave the Shift key uh, on, and I just left click all the way doing this kind of a path following the silhouette of the dog okay so just 
continue this like this you can do it you know faster or slower of course the slower you go the more precise it's going to be and uh, of course also the more you zoom in the more precise it's going to be but I like to make this kind of it's not cell shading I guess because the cell shading is usually black I think I'm not an expert on this terminology but um, yeah here we're doing the silhouette of the dog up until the grass okay again here nope if you click uh, with the shift it will happen like this so again left and then we'll do it just again like this perfect and we'll do it also here a little bit okay so now we have our dog with our white layering so as you can see it's not very thick but it allows us to really separate it from the background right okay now we'll do the same with the girl um, so we'll come here we'll start to start with this part right here you know because the background is a bit clearer than before you won't see it that much but it's okay you know, it's just the style that we're cho choosing to go for okay so here I'm not sure where to where to start I think maybe what I will do is I will just start here and that's it I don't know why my dog is licking his bed um, I don't know if you hear it, I guess not. I just wanted to say it. Ah. As you can see here, I'm not being too precise, but it's okay because, you know, the, the background is white, so we don't see it much. Let's go ahead and do the rest of the world. Oh, shoot. Like this. Back, click space and drag to drag and continue with the shift you know you can just leave it and then click again shift and continue your path and for me it's easier than just doing lines you know, but also with the the mouse scroll you can go up and down depends on how fast you got it but for me it's working also fine okay so as you can see this is a bit tedious Just going to faster this part. Okay, so there we are. As you can see, it's right here. We don't see it much, but again, this allows us to separate it a bit from from the background. Okay, so again, this is not a live video because it's not. You know going to be live but i'm improvising with this image as i do with every single image so i just start i just render some some base images and i did just import them to photoshop and i go with the flow you know, uh, we never know what's going to happen with every image so for now i'm liking this i'm liking the girl going the dog the car and the house quite modern makes me think of uh, what's this tv show black mirror this kind of thing Okay, so for me this is quite empty, but I like it also. It's, uh, I don't really know what to do here. So first things first, I want to see again this um, this layer, just to see maybe if maybe there's something we can use. I was thinking that, for example, if we use our material ID and we choose this kind of purple color. Okay, so select color range. And as you can see here, we're selecting just the purple color. Okay. And then we just go to our sketchy image. And again, we do the same thing as before. So click right. Layer via copy. And we have that. So I think this could work you now because I like it because it's giving some deepness to the image. So maybe, you know, if we do something like this, think it could work uh, i think it gives some you no know, something special i think that for this image we should make a kind of circular sky so for now what, what we're going to do is you know it'll be something like this i think again i'm improvising so i don't know 
create the base layer and what I usually do is just select the color and, and draw it just to see how the, the thing is going okay so for me you know it's it's okay it's nothing special um, so if I go here to brush and then I go to my brushes you can see I have clouds so let's choose a brush okay so here's not working wait just do another like this of course okay so you can see uh, what the brush is but I don't like it much so maybe this one is better then I always like to you know resize it so we can see how how good or bad is fitting this is quite okay I think here I would even you know, do it a bit brighter. Something like this. It's not actually doing anything. That's weird. But okay. So, for example, we can go here and select the burn, the burn, or the dodge. To dodge. I think it's dodge. But again, it's not doing anything. So let's try again. Dodge tool. not making it clear so okay whatever I don't know what's happening so I don't like this uh, this, 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 this is what is going on so I'm just going to erase this and we'll go ahead and maybe look for uh, for one of our three assets maybe this sky from here so for example this one. So, do I like this guy? I don't even know. Uh, I mean, it's not bad. Okay, it's, it's, this is what we're gonna do. I'm gonna place it here. Lower the opacity. So I come here or select this one. Okay, this, we don't really care about this. Okay, now we'll go ahead here, select and invert. Then we'll come here, rasterize our layer, and erase. So as you can see, we have the same form with our new kind of sky. So I like the sky now better, for sure. But I'd like to create something here so that our building also pops out. Okay, so that again we have some separation. So we'll come and do it here. Up. Oh, we'll choose the white. It's already chosen. Select our normal brush. And of course, we want it a bit thicker than five, something like maybe 20, okay? See how it, how it is? Okay, it's enough. So we'll come here and we'll do it right here underneath. So we'll come from one point to the other, right there, to the other, right there, <laughs> to the other, right here, and down, down we go. And here we are kind of, you know, selecting our, or making our, house or architecture a little with the white so it's not huge but it's something maybe this one we should lower the opacity a little also so what do you think it's a bit weird i don't know i don't know so also what we could do is go to overlay effects i usually always use this line one this and as you can see makes the sky even better Maybe just white, and maybe now we can actually make it less fake. What do you think? Should should we leave it this way or not? I don't know. <laughs> uh, another thing that I usually do is go to our base layer, so it's this one, and go to camera filter and tweak it a little bit, so a bit more exposition contrast or less contrast a bit more highlights and usually I always add some texture maybe some clarity okay we'll go to detail sharp a little not much so it didn't change much but this is what it is okay so I think I'm gonna leave it here this would be the tonight's image I think I'm not convinced 100% about the sky though 
but um, I think maybe we'll add also some some birds. I know it's like always the same thing with the birds. We always add them. I don't know why in our architecture drawings. <laughs> Uh, but it is what it is. Transform, flip horizontal. We'll make them smaller so that they are actually realistic. And here you can see this. I will rasterize it. I will just erase that. Okay. So we have a tree. We have a thing going on. Just make them a bit lighter. That's it for now, guys. So yeah, I don't think I don't know what you think about this image. Um, I was also thinking, by the way, that maybe we could add some background with some free assets. Let's go to trees. Yeah, we don't have many trees here, so I think I have some some here. Let's see, three. Yeah, so we have the nine. I like it. We have this one. It's okay. Yeah, we usually always use this one. Has to choose. What if we actually, you know, use this one? Like, you know what I mean? Let's see what, what what would happen if we did it this way. So of course we see some things, bad things going on here, but you know we don't have too much of a choice. <laughs> so we'll just come here, rasterize our thingy as usual. Um, we'll select this part right here, then here, here. So this will be hidden. So we're gonna erase it. We'll go ahead and erase it here also because we are going through through this hole right there and up to here. But also, and as you can see, we have some part which is right here that is going through the glass. So first things first, we have this, which shouldn't be visible. Actually, I don't know why this is purple, but okay. So this shouldn't be visible. And I will just go ahead and select the rest. Subship tube. And then we'll go here, click right, layer via cut. And with this, we will just make it more, less fake. So it looks like it's going through. We have, of course, this tree going on. This was unplanned, so that's why this is happening. But whatever, this is a twist. It's a twist because this way we can actually, um, you know, give a bit more volume to the image, right? What do you think? Then maybe the birds should be somewhere else. I don't know. What do you think? What do you think? Okay, so we'll leave it this way, I think. I think this is better, already better than before. Um, yeah, so it's a shame that right here doesn't, I don't know, it looks weird from a distance, what do you think? We'll just leave it this way. Um, that's it, so we'll save it and upload it tonight. Ha. Tonight, uh, in this day, you know, we are 24th of September, we'll see when when this gets uh, um, uploaded. <laughs> so yeah, let's go ahead and finish this by saving the image in JPEG. Okay, so we do, 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 do JPEG. We'll name it Instagram. It's the green. Okay, okay. And we'll also save the PSD so we can download it. Okay, here we are. So thanks for watching. Hope you like this and see you in the next.